Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture, we finished chapter number 16, name kinematics. After chapter number 16, I am going to start a very important and a very interesting chapter. Name is chapter number 10, permutations and combinations. We will do each and every exercise, each and every question of this chapter. So, if you are new in my channel, kindly watch previous lecture. There is a folder, name is AdMath. Watch previous lectures, you will get too much benefits. Start chapter number 10. The first topic of this chapter is factorial notation. What is factorial? You can see on your screen 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is called 5 factorial and is written as 5 factorial. It is useful to remember that n factorial is equals to n into n minus 1 factorial. What does it mean? See this 4 factorial This is the sign of factorial, just like a sign of exclamation in English language. This is the sign of factorial. So 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Or another way to write this 4 into 4 minus 1 into 4 minus 2 into 4 minus 3. 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 minus 2 is 2 and 4 minus 3 is 1. So it means whenever we find the factorial of any number, we always decrease by 1. So therefore n factorial means n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 dash dash dash. So hope you understand this. So in the light of this brief concept of factorial, we are going to start exercise 10.1 question number 1. Without using a calculator, find the value of each of the following. Use the key x factorial on your calculator to check your answer. So, part A is 7 factorial. So, 7 factorial means 7 into 6 into 5. We have to go till 1. 3 into 2 into 1. So, if you calculate 7 factorial and if you multiply all these numbers, you will get 5040. Now, you can check this answer from your calculator in scientific calculator. In every scientific calculator, there is a button which is called x factorial. So, if you write 7 and put factorial button, you will directly get 5040. Okay? Move to part B. So, this is the answer of part A. Part B is 4 factorial upon 2 factorial. You can write 4 factorial by 4 into 3 into 2 factorial. We can go towards 1 <coughs> till 1, but not necessary because we have to cancel 2 factorial by 2 factorial. 
अदरवाइज राइट फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू टू इंटू वन एंड अपॉन टू इंटू वन देन कैंसिल बट दिस इज द शॉर्ट वे बिकॉज टू फैक्टोरियल कैंसिल बैक टू फैक्टोरियल ट्वेल्व इज द आंसर एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड डायरेक्ट आंसर फ्रॉम योर कैलकुलेटर सी पार्ट एट फैक्टोरियल अपॉन फाइव फैक्टोरियल we will use same strategy 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial upon 5 factorial 5 factorial cancel by 5 factorial 8 7 the 56 56 6 the 840 so 840 is our answer so hope you understand part c as well move to next part part d Four factorial upon two factorial multiply by two factorial. So four factorial means four into four into three into two into one upon two factorial. Sorry, this is part E. Extremely sorry. there is a misprint in book part d is oh sorry i forgot to do part c I forgot part C. Part C is very easy. Seven factorial upon three factorial. So seven factorial is seven into six into five into four into three factorial upon three factorial. Three factorial cancel by three factorial, so seven into six into five into four is eight forty. Answer. Part D I have already done. This is not part D. This is part E. Part E is four factorial upon two factorial into two factorial. very easy question 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 upon 2 factorial means 2 into 1 2 factorial means 2 into 1 2 cancel by 2 2 to the 4 2 3 the 6 6 one the 6 so final answer of part e is 6 move to part f part f is 6 factorial over 3 factorial whole square so 6 factorial can be right 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial over 3 factorial whole square means 3 factorial multiply by 3 factorial 3 factorial cancel by 3 factorial 6 into 5 into 4 Three factorial is three into two. Three to the six, six cancel by six, five four the thirty. So part F answer is sorry five four the twenty. Five four the twenty. So twenty is the answer. Move to part G. Five factorial upon three factorial multiply by seven factorial upon four factorial. Five factorial means five into four into three factorial upon three factorial multiply by seven factorial can be right seven into six into five into four factorial upon upon four factorial. So 
सो थ्री फैक्टोरियल कैंसिल बाय थ्री फैक्टोरियल फोर फैक्टोरियल कैंसिल बाय फोर फैक्टोरियल मल्टीप्लाई फाइव इंटू फोर इंटू सिक्स इंटू सेवन इंटू फाइव फोर टू डबल जीरो आंसर सो होप यू अंडरस्टैंड फाइव इंटू फोर इंटू सेवन इंटू सिक्स इंटू फाइव इज फोर टू डबल जीरो सो स्टूडेंट दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन एंड वी डिट ऑल क्वेश्चन विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ कैलकुलेटर बट यू कैन यूज कैलकुलेटर फॉर योर आंसर चेकिंग ओके मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू Rewrite each of the following using factorial notation. Very easy question. In question number वन we evaluate, we calculate a factorial, and in question number टू we have to write the given answer in terms of factorial. So टू वन जा टू इंटू वन मीन्स टू फैक्टोरियल वेरी इजी दिस इज द आंसर पार्ट बी सिक्स इंटू फाइव इंटू फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू टू इंटू वन ऑब्वियसली दिस शुड बी सिक्स फैक्टोरियल सो यू कैन सी हाउ इजी दीज क्वेश्चन आर पार्ट सी फाइव इंटू फोर इंटू थ्री बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन इज नॉट गोइंग टिल वन सो देर फॉर वी कैन नॉट राइट फाइव फैक्टोरियल बट If we write this number five into four into three is five factorial, we should divide it by two factorial because five into four into three is sixty. Five factorial is one twenty upon two factorial is two. One twenty upon two is sixty. So whenever you write the shortest way. 5 into 4 into 3 means 5 factorial upon less than uh, 1 of 3 is 2 what i am saying see next part you will completely understand part d 7 into 16 into 15 into 14 therefore this should be 17 factorial upon less than 1 of 14 is 13 13 factorial so hope you understand very easy question part e 10 into 9 into 10 into 9 into 8 upon 3 into 2 into 1 very easy question 10 into 9 into 8 can be write 10 factorial upon 7 factorial and 3 into 2 into 1 is 3 factorial Seven factorial into three factorial. This is our final answer. Move to part F. Part F is twelve into eleven into ten into nine into eight upon four into three into two into one. So this should be right. Twelve factorial upon less than one of eight is seven factorial. Multiply by four into three into two into one is four factorial. So twelve factorial upon seven factorial into four factorial is our final answer. So hope you completely understand this question number two as well. Now exercise has finished, has finished, but. I want to do question number three as well because it's very easy question. This is the challenging question, and you people must accept challenges in your life. Rewrite each of the following 
in terms of factorial notation n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 we will apply the same strategy that is n factorial upon less than 1 of n minus 3 should be n minus 4 less than 1 means this one n minus 3 minus 1 is n minus 4 this is the answer part b n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 into n minus 4 into n minus 5 is equals to same strategy we will use n factorial upon less than 1 of n minus 5 is n minus 6 factorial this is the answer of part b move to part c n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 upon 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this should be equals to n factorial upon less than 1 of n minus 2 is n minus 3 factorial divided by multiply by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is 5 factorial this is our final answer of part c move to last part n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 into n minus 4 upon 3 into 2 into 1 So, this should be right n factorial upon less than 1 of n minus 4 is n minus 5 factorial multiply by 3 into 2 into 1 it is 3 factor 3 factorial. So, the final answer is n factorial upon n minus 5 factorial multiply by 3 factorial. What next in this exercise? nothing so today we finish the whole exercise with each and every question each and every part the next exercise topic is arrangement very easy topic how many questions in exercise 10.2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 no issue we will do each and every question Kindly do practice of this exercise and all previous chapters and if you are like my videos and if you think that my videos are helping you, kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe, don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos, you will get the notification. Kindly share my videos as many as you can. Okay students, good luck for next lecture.